After many rumors, leaks and speculation, the LEGO Marvel Avengers Tower is finally here. Something the fans have been asking for years now and judging by the reactions I witnessed a few months ago at the reveal, people are really excited. The box arrived Whoa. yesterday. Oh. <laughs> So we started building this yesterday. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This will become the biggest LEGO Marvel set ever with over 5,200 pieces, but surprisingly enough, not the most expensive at only $500. It includes the most minifigures ever on a retail set with 29 of them, plus Ant-Man, Hulk and Dummy, funnily enough also featured in the character side of the box. An interesting inclusion is Kevin Feige, the president of Marvel Studios. On top of that, the set also features a Queen Jet, two Shitori Flyers and the Leviathan. It stands at 90 centimeters tall, so it's even taller than the Daily Bugle set. And it also includes modular connection points for both sets to be connected together, as well as modular buildings, if you so wish, or even the Ninjago City Market sets. The tower has a full interior, accessed by removing large sections of the build, complete with lots of scenes taking place on the Avengers Tower, but also a few others not necessarily taking place in there, as explained by the model designers. It will be available from November 24th, just in time for Black Friday. And from the PR announcement, LEGO Insider members that purchase the set between the 24th to the 27th of November will receive a free LEGO Marvel taxi set, complete with the iconic New York yellow cab and also four minifigures, one of them being Black Panther. Though for this particular gift with purchase set, I don't have any images I can share with you at the moment. As the massive Marvel Cinematic Universe fan that I am, I am really excited to tell you all about this set on my upcoming review that will be dropping very soon. For now, I'll just leave you with the reveal of the set by the designers and I'll see you all in the next one. So I don't know if you want to reveal the box. Let's do the box. The box arrived yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Let me redo this as well. oh, but we started building this yesterday. Oh my It's the most amount of minifigures in a retail set ever. Um, 32 characters. Um, what? Designed by Marvel. 30, 30. Yep. I don't know if you want to take them through. Well, we've got a lot of great ones. We wanted to get as many. Uh, well, what did you say? You wanted it to be the most Avengers tower we could get. So we've, so we've got. Uh, a damaged Mark VI Iron Man, we've got a Mark VII Iron Man, we've got the Mark VII pod that you guys did a great job building on the side of the model. Uh, we've got a uh, Mark I Ultron, which is my favorite. Uh, we've got Big Fig, we've got a Micro Fig. A lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Um, Junior was responsible for the Leviathan and um, the Quinchet. Mark and I worked on the main tower. I was also designing Gringotts at the same time, so I wanted to make something <laughs> even taller uh, than Gringotts, just to annoy George. But um, <laughs> yeah, it, comes, it comes with a few new elements. We've got this new curved wall element, which you may or may not have seen in Gringotts. It's just they were designed at the same time, but the first idea was to have it in here. Um, we've got a new uh, wig element for the Hulk. So for the first time ever in LEGO history, you can turn the big, big Big Fig Hulk's head, and uh, yeah, his hair will follow. So, innovation. Um, we also have the, the curved posing element, which uh, yeah, a few of the superhero team managed to get in before before us. Yeah, but it was designed for this. So. Yeah. The the whole model um, is uh, yeah takes takes stuff off. Um, yeah, so it has insides. We have uh, yeah many floors with different fun things to find. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> So yeah, you're on the ground floor you've got the um, reception area, middle floor you've got um, the walkway and two Captain Americas, including America's ass. Yay! That's <laughs> 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 so the one thing we built this whole model for. Uh, you've got an Iron Man lab, you've got a, a prison cell, you've got the bar and the, the hangar room for the Quinjet, or the Quinjet hangar. You've got a, um, a lounge area and then the lab for the uh, sector. Yeah, this counter is so huge. Yep. Um, and it's been a hell of a lot of fun to design. Um, it comes with the uh, modular holes um, and also the modular fix, so you can uh, connect it to Bugle and other superhero sets, but also, yeah, your whole modular streets, so Ninjago Cities and, and you name it, we've got a room for it. Um, it's a full 360 play experience. So um, the box is in the way. So look, one's on the back coming through with a, a hot dog. Um, it has a bird. <laughs> it has an Avengers logo. Um, yeah, it's the, it's the most ultimate 
superheroes that we've ever yep. done, um, and a true homage to the Avengers and Infinity Saga. We, we try to bring in lots of Avengers scenes that might not necessarily have taken place in the tower, but the tower is if there, we have the space we can put in things from the helicarrier and things and make it happen. And my favourite figure here is uh, a guy called Kevin, he's an Avengers fan. Um, it's really fun to put him as a, <laughs> as a mini figure. <laughs> no likeness to the, the other Kevin, but yeah, here's yeah. Kevin, the Avengers even fan. Even though that's the name on the box. Yeah, even though it's the name on the box, yeah, yeah. Um, So yeah, we really like it. We hope you like it too. Um, it comes out very, very soon. Um, so uh, start saving now. <laughs> yeah. yeah.